Okay, here we are at Jatan. Um, similar houses by the same architect were built next to it. This is uh, further closer to Dale Mabry than I thought. If you remember where Grillsmith, the restaurant, used to be, that's it right there. So this house is literally on the corner there, which actually works out nice for parties because you have lots of guest parking. So across the street, we have a office building of some kind here. And then Caddy Corner across the street, we have the back of a hotel. And then that is Dill Mabry. And then there's Girl Smith. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Paver driveway, two story. Looks like block and frame, first floor block, second store frame. Covered porch area. This is a faux window, it's not real. Just an accent piece. Let's go through the front door. Traditional Mediterranean style home. Here's the foyer. And uh, to the left is the stairwell going up. Open with uh, banister and railings. And then there's a door here, which I'm going to assume is either a bathroom or under the stair storage. Plus a coat closet. As you can see, it goes uh, down a little further there. We'll back up and head to the main house. So this is a great floor plan configuration. You know, the dining is the first that's immediately there. There is a tray ceiling around the dining room with the pendant, uh, with the chandelier. You have another tray ceiling where a fan should go in the middle there. And then to the right, you have the kitchen. Kitchen's got uh, espresso brown colored cabinets, exhaust vents to the outside. It does have a nice island with three pendant lights, stainless appliances, granite counters, backsplash. We have a microwave oven and oven over there. Gas range. And then there's the dishwasher, sink, and etc. So, this door to the right undoubtedly leads to the garage, which was left open for us. There is a water softener here which is nice. And then you've got your water heater over here. Looks like they uh, installed a suspended loft storage and they put in some organizational racks. These right here are the hurricane shutters. They're interlocking and they go, they uh, clip together in case you ever wanted to board up your house. Going back into the mud room, we have a hall closet here where they keep cleaning supplies. This mud area just has a piece of furniture with cubbies, but you could put something built in if you wanted. Straight ahead is the pantry. Could have added a couple of more shelving racks to get more stuff on there. And we're going to back out, go back into the kitchen. So to the right, off the living room opposite it, is an office. Has a double door entry, glass panes, tray ceiling with double crown, no closet. So it is definitely designed as an office. 
and then moving forward a little bit further we have a full bath in case somebody did want to use that as a guest room there's a downstairs bathroom and there's a full linen closet here which they use to store stuff and then this door accesses the patio so this is kind of designed to be a pool bath in case you ever wanted to put a pool you just walk straight into here so here's the covered patio area decent size not huge same matching brick pavers as the driveway There's uh, one side along the fence. You have a white PVC fence. You can definitely fit a pool here. There's no question. You can see the neighbor behind you did the same thing. This is uh, more just for foliage of what they did. Decent sized yard. So let's go back in. angle of the living, dining, and kitchen. Let's take the stairs up. Stairs are hardwood. Solid oak treads, white risers. So on the second floor, we have a loft with a bar. Let's let some natural light in here. Bar's got a wine fridge, sink, backsplash, quartz counters, upper cabinets. These may not be, this may not have been built at the time that the house was constructed because they have quartz while everything else downstairs is granite. It's definitely good size though. Very good size. And from here, you can look uh, down on the stairwell. First door to the right is the laundry room. Laundry room has upper cabinets, granite, sink, shelving there's the washer dryer and then looks like you got another room behind it which someone kept as an office looks like it was a child's homework area laundry and more shelving here we go so backing out we go down this way, this corridor. Looks like two of the bedrooms are here. The first door is to the guest bath. Two sinks, more granite. These are all eight foot doors. So upstairs you've got nine foot ceilings. Downstairs is probably 10 feet. Tub shower combo. It's got this oil rub bronze fixtures which is very common for Mediterranean style homes next door is bedroom one this is a double it fits very well here you could probably get away with a queen good size normal size reach-in closet next bedroom two looks a little smaller than bedroom one it also has a double or a full also has a normal size closet I would definitely replace the carpet and paint before you move in. 
And this door to the right, this is the AV. Now, if you remember in that description I sent you, they mentioned something about, you know, AV running through here. I don't understand exactly why, but I guess he had some kind of fiber optic thing that he wanted to do. And uh, go from there. So then we uh, move on to the next hallway. To the right is a closet that holds both AC systems. All original 2016 units. One for downstairs, one for upstairs. Carrier, which is a good brand. The next door is to a bathroom with a stand-up shower. Same granite countertops and brushed nickel finishes. And then we have bedroom three, which looks like a playroom. Comparable in size to the others. Probably the same size as bedroom one, but larger than bedroom two. And finally, we have the master. Double doors. Again, we have tray ceiling with double crown. This is a king bed. King bed looks small here. They've, they've got a lot, a lot of room. Looks like they got a Nordic track here. And then uh, hallway goes to two closets on either side, I presume, of his and hers. This is bedroom one, where her clothes are. The second closet just has a little bit of stuff. Remember I mentioned this might be a divorce case. So. Next is the master bath. Walking in, you have a water closet immediately to your left. On to your right, you have vanity number one. This is what we call a linen cabinet. Instead of a linen closet. Good size shower. Frameless glass, little niche there. garden tub, and then vanity number two. And that's everything. Floors seem to be in good shape. The uh, corners of the drywall are rounded. Paint and carpet is definitely what you need, plus any repairs that need to be done that we can't see. That's basically it.